In this video, I'm going to talk about another infiltration model called Horton model. Horton model says that if you have time on your x-axis and rate on your uh, y-axis, the infiltration capacity curve or potential infiltration curve decreases exponentially and approaches minimum infiltration rate F sub C asymptotically. And because of that, this F sub C sometimes called asymptotic infiltration rate. And this point is F sub zero or initial infiltration. This curve again represents F sub P or potential infiltration curve or infiltration capacity curve. Now, if I write the equation for this curve, it will look like this. Potential infiltration F sub P, which has a dimension of length over T. In other words, this represents rate is equal to F sub C, minimum infiltration, plus F sub zero, initial infiltration, minus F sub C times e to the power negative KT. K is an exponential decay factor, and T is time, so has the dimension of T. And the dimension for F sub C is also length over time, it's rate, and over here also L over T. Perfect. So in other words, for any given point at a time, let's say time T1, if I calculate F sub P, it gives me potential infiltration rate at that specific moment at time. For example, if I have time T1 over here, and I have this curve over here, I can calculate this point, which is potential infiltration rate at time T1. Now, let's assume that we have a constant um, uniform rainfall with the intensity of I. I'm going to show it over here. We have a rainfall with the intensity of I. Since you have the infiltration capacity curve and you have the rainfall, if I ask you what is, what is the amount of infiltration using these graphs, what, what would you tell me? You would tell me that since this curve represents potential infiltration, the area below this curve represents cumulative infiltration from time zero all the way to time t. Now, my next question for you would be, how do we calculate the area below this curve? And you would tell me that the only thing that we need to do is to integrate this Horton equation, Horton model. And you are 100% correct. I'm going to call the cumulative infiltration from time zero to time t f, capital F, which is a function of time. So what we are going to do is to integrate from 0 to t, this, integrate Horton equation, f sub p, which is a function of time, dt. Now, I'm going to replace the equation over here and then integrate it. If you integrate that equation, F or cumulative infiltration from time zero to time T would be equal to minimum infiltration ta times time plus initial infiltration minus minimum infiltration divided by K times one minus E to the power negative K times T. All right. This equation that we just derived is the equation that you would use to calculate the total amount of infiltrated water into the soil 
from time zero to time t, okay, from any given for any given period of time. Now, um, there are different models for uh, basically calculating cumulative infiltration, and also there are different equation that represents um, um, infiltration capacity. We're going to talk about some of them in the next parts of this video.